in Brooklyn. We are set for the main event. And as WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder's had 99 problems, but beating opponents ain't one. This is his sixth title defense against the man he dethroned almost three years ago. The only man to go the distance against the bronze bomber, Berman Stavern. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for the main event of the evening. Please welcome the boxers as they make their way to the ring. First, escorted by rap artist and songwriter Frank Castle, please welcome the challenger and the former world champion from Miami by way of Haiti. Here is Berman Stavern. has been able to do thus far so the durability can give him the confidence and if you can stay in the ring with Deontay you got a chance to hurt him every time every each and every round that you last in there with him you got to be in it to win it so not getting knocked out is the first key the second key is putting together a proper game plan we'll see tonight And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, escorted by the one and only 50 Cent, here is the hard-hitting heavyweight champion of the world from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. Legendary 
Boxing rapper, huge boxing fan, in fact, former boxing promoter 50 Cent serenading WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder to the ring. And Al, both Wilder and 50 Cent known for power. Yeah, and, you know, getting ready for this fight, Deontay Wilder, who has had an often injured right hand, as we pointed out on this broadcast, said, for the very first time in sparring, I didn't feel any tingle in my right hand. It felt perfectly healthy, and he certainly hopes it stays that way for this fight. Well, he has a sleeping pill for a right hand, that's for sure, as we go to the tail of the tape for this WBC heavyweight title fight. It's a rematch, Al. Yeah, well, there's a few numbers to digest. Yes, your first to height and reach advantage for Deontay Wilder. He put them to good use in their first fight, hopes to do it again in this one. And then let's look at the weight of Berman Stavern. 254 and three quarter pounds. That's 15 pounds more than he was for the last fight. And it ties his highest weight. He had that against Derek Rossi in his last fight, one in which he performed lethargically. Here with the official introductions, the maestro on the mic, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to Barclay Center here in Brooklyn as we present the featured bout of the evening courtesy of Premier Boxing Champions and brought to you by DeBella Entertainment in association with Don King Productions, TGB Promotions, and Showtime. We are sponsored by Corona Extra. Corona invites you to find your beach. This bout is sanctioned by the WBC. The president and supervisor is Mauricio Suleiman, along with the New York State Athletic Commission. The commissioner is John Signorelli. Introducing our three judges, scoring from ringside. From New York, Eric Marlinski. Also from New York, John McKay. And from New Jersey, Steve Weisfeld. Introducing our referee in charge of the action, Arthur Mercanti. All right, fans, here we go with the rematch. Main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Barclays Center in Brooklyn, it's showtime! <laughs> Introducing to you first the challenger on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with multi-color trim, fighting out of Miami, Florida, by way of Las Vegas and Haiti. He weighed in at 254 and three quarter pounds with a record of 25 wins, two losses and one draw. He has 21 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, in his third world title appearance, he is looking to avenge his loss and regain the title. Please welcome the WBC number one contender and the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, introducing opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner the defending world champion wearing gold and black trunks fighting out of it proudly representing his home of Tuscaloosa Alabama he weighed in at already 220 and three quarter pounds here is the 2008 Olympic bronze medalist undefeated in his sensational campaign in the ring with a record of 38 wins no Losses, 37 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, in his sixth defense of his title, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the long reigning, undefeated, and defending WBC heavyweight champion of the world, known as the Bronze Bomber, introducing Deontay. Once again, our referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Arthur Mercanti. Let's 
Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Good evening, gentlemen. We went over the rules earlier in the night. I expect you to obey these rules. Let's have a nice, clean fight. Touch gloves. Good luck to the both of you. Nearly 11,000 in attendance here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn for this heavyweight title fight, a rematch between Deontay Wilder, who has said he will retire from the sport if he loses tonight, and Berman Stavern, who promises it will not go the distance this time around. Referee Arthur Mercanti. 33-year pro, the bell in round one, the champion Wilder in the gold and black trunks. The challenger, Berman Stavern, the former champ in black with gold, blue, and red. The blue and red of his native Haiti. The first Haitian-born heavyweight champion. And by the way, referee Arthur Mercanti wearing a black armband to honor the people who lost their lives in the terror attack on the West Side Highway bike path here in New York last Tuesday. Honorable. Deontay comes out snapping that jab. I tell you, man, sometimes the way he snaps that jab, it's like a, he's like a little guy. Got that snap, like a Ali type of snap or like a yeah. Larry Holmes type of snap. Not, not all heavyweights have that kind of snap on their jab. No, it's, got, it's, a, it's a superb punch. You know, we talk about Stavern being very inactive, which we've outlined. Uh, this is the longest layoff for Wilder in his career, nine months. So he's getting back in the ring after a, a long period off. Wilder, America's first heavyweight title holder since Brooklyn, Shannon Briggs in 2007. Wilder became the first undefeated American to win a heavyweight title since the first ever Southpaw heavyweight champ, Michael Moore in 94. In the opening minute, just uh, one punch was thrown by the challenger, Berman Stavern. And, and Wilder has thrown about 16 jabs out of his 18 punches that he's thrown. I think Berman really just taking his time, yeah. trying to close that gap. He doesn't want to take too many chances. Shouldn't a red flag have gone up, Paulie, when he Stavern came in 15 pounds heavier than the last time these two met? Yeah, you know, I was uh, I was thinking the same thing. I was actually talking to one of the guys on his, uh, on one of his little friends or one of his guys on his team or whatnot uh, earlier tonight and they said I asked him about that weight and he said uh, no it, it, he was just dehydrated last time or he was malnutrition or whatever they want to call it uh, last time and he's actually better at the way he's at now and you'll and I'll find out tonight I said okay I was like you know I was just curious about that oh it raised the red flag so we'll see if, uh, if he's able to put up the work rate tonight stiff jab by Wilder now thus far Stavern hasn't yeah. shown the work rate he's oh hitting my. and Stavern goes down in round one with that laser right hand from Wilder. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. Behind the head. You know it is. Walk toward me. 18 of Wilder's 30. <laughs> Seven knockouts have occurred here in the round. First round and Stavern down for the second time.
This is as loud as I've heard the Barclays Center at a boxing match we've done. in the opening round with a second left like the brown bomber the bronze bomber has proven far more effective in this rematch Al. well Bermit Stavern came out doing virtually nothing offensively and that is the classic Deontay Wilder one-two combination Al, Al, who's, who's De Wilder's trainer Mark Breland did that not look like a, a Breland type of one-two Mark the way he yes. turned the right hand and the sharp jab in front of it I mean that was that was a heavyweight Breland type of combination Mark Breland a one of the great amateur fighters of all time and also a, 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 a champion now we look at the second knockdown again the same combination but it was the left hook that started the problems here and a, a right that bounced off the head of Berman Stavern. And at this point, Deontay Wilder having a little discussion with Stavern as he sits on the canvas. And the one-two is always the basis of what Wilder does. And then we will see the finish of the fight. Stavern looked like he was going to get through the round with only a few seconds left. And here's Wilder juking and jiving and coming with the right hand. Now, ironically, that here's one... the shot that hurts him right here. This yeah. is the one. Yep. The, the left hand that really created a right problem. Hand comes the middle as well. He's already out. He's already out before he hits the ground here. Sorry, credit to Arthur McCanty, man, because those are two big guys. He's got to get in the middle of those yeah. guys. And, think, and actually, it was very good that he got in there right away so no more yeah. punches could land against the Vernon. Obviously, he's out at that point. Mamma mia, what a performance by WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder. Vada doing their best to clean up the sport. Wilder did his best tonight, cleaning the clock of Berman Stavern. Let's go up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. to make it official. Only lies, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 59 seconds in round number one. He is the winner by way of knockout. He is still undefeated. He is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. Thirty-nine and zero with thirty-eight knockouts, nineteen coming in the opening round.